Hey everybody, I'm Erica Carlson with Bricks Real Estate. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm here to share Wright County real estate market data with you. I try to do this every week and I'll keep sharing it in these Facebook groups. You can also jump over to my Facebook um, page, of course, Erica Carlson, um, or you can go to my website, I Heart mplshomes.com. I'd love to have you there, whether you're looking for a house or you're looking for this type of information, I'm always happy to share it with you. So without further ado, let me share my screen um, in bold on the right side, the February 22nd. Really our amount of inventory just really hasn't changed. We actually have four less houses or properties, I should say. Uh, when I'm pulling this data for you, we are only looking at residential properties and I don't think I'm including land and lots. This is just actually like condos, townhouses and houses to buy. The TNAS or the temporarily not available for showings hasn't changed much. Pendings has gone up, um, you know, every week, which totally makes sense, right? Because more people came out to shop for houses after January 1st. So of course, more of these houses have been uh, picked up and they're under contract and they're sitting until closing date. And then notice are in addition, now the data changes instead of for the week, it goes back 30 days. And so we've had 106 closings, which is up quite a bit, but again, it completely matches what we would predict because there's more buyers out there shopping. So of course more closings are happening. Uh, but again, we need that inventory. If you had a house on the market, you should be expecting about four showings a week. That would be average. If you're not getting four showings a week, that may be indicative that a price change needs to happen or something about the condition of the house is keeping people away from it in the, you know, the online marketing or whatnot. Side days on market hasn't changed because that data is lumped together a little bit more. So again, you should expect about a month for it to sell the average um, property. Of course, some will sell faster and some will uh, sell slower. And then when we look at absorption rate, which is a fancy way of saying, if no more houses came on the market in Wright County, when would we run out of properties to purchase? And the answer is two months. So in two months, approximately not a single house would be available, which then puts, puts us at a seller's market. That's ultimately why we're looking at this data is how soon um, or how fast are things moving? And so it's fast. It's not as fast as the Metro. Uh, same going back to showings per week per week, excuse me, it would be a little bit faster in the Hennepin County or the Metro area. So we're always just a little bit more behind. Um, in conclusion, if you want market data on your neighborhood, the only way I can supply that, of course, is if I know where the market is that we're discussing. And so I have two options when you click that link. Um, one, my contact information is there if you, you know, want this to be more of a private conversation, but I did create links for the city. So you don't have to share your address with me to get this information. You just click on, let's say Delano or Buffalo and you can get a general idea. It's not perfect. It is just, you know, just general information that one, two, main, one, two, three main street sold for X amount. It took X amount of days. It just gives you an idea of like maybe what would happen if you sold your house or if you're buying a house, kind of like what to expect. Um, if you're willing to get more particular, there's an option where you do share your address so I can give you better market data. Uh, this is a fantastic information. Even if you're not thinking about selling, just to keep an eye on how things are moving in the market, because uh, people tend to just kind of want to know, to have just a general idea. This is the biggest asset you probably own or one of them, and keeping an eye on it never hurts. Um, you know, let me know how I can help in that way. We can set it up annually. If you're not serious about selling, uh, we can do it quarterly. If you're kind of on that edge where you're thinking about it. Anyway, anything residential real estate in this area, I'm happy to be a resource to you. That's